All right, we're back here at the Fireside Chat. You have now completed the course, so congratulations on making it through. Whether you busted through it in a week, or it took you a month, or maybe you went a little slower and it took a bit longer, congratulations on making it to the end. So what have you learned? If you followed along with us, you now know the basics of Amazon. You've got a seller account created. You now know where to find books, how to find them, which tools to use, how to list them, condition them, price them, send them into FBA, and get your first sales. That's a lot, but the fun is just beginning. So now that you have the basics down, it's time to start figuring out where do we go from here? So what kind of goals can we set? Can we start branching into other categories? For Matthew and I, we've made the decision to stick mostly with books. My business is 99.5% books. I do a little bit of other media, and every once in a while I get distracted and look at Starbucks mugs or t-shirts or something else. But primarily my business is books. I wanna master one thing get really good at it and build a business around that category. So for me, it's been books. Now, there's a couple things you can do. One, it's really important to set goals. So what is possible in this? You've, again, in, in the video, we showed you how to list 57 books, spend a morning sourcing, an hour or two listing, and basically a half a day between sourcing and listing and shipping. And we've already turned a positive cash flow of about $55 within the first month. That's not life-changing money, but it's pretty good money for a little bit. And again, by the end of by the, by the time these books uh, end up selling, we'll probably be in the 200 to $250 range. Not bad for a half day of work. So what's, what's possible? We wanna direct your attention over to a website we put together where we share actually Matthew and a, another good buddy of ours, his name is John Troutman. They go through, they embark on what's called a 100 book challenge. And the idea is once you learn the basics of how to sell on Amazon, let's set a goal. Let's set something that we can actually go and, and physically chase after each and every week and that goal is 100 books a week. And 100 may sound like very little, or it may sound like a lot depending on where you're from, how much time you have, how many sources you have around you. But the basic premise is this. If you can source and list 100 books a week, and we're gonna use some very similar metrics to what we had just done, so the buy cost is gonna be $1.50. The average sell price is gonna be a little higher. Our price was a little under $15. We really wanna get that up closer to 18 to 20. We're gonna be conservative and use a buy cost of $1.50, sell price of $17.50. We're gonna say we're gonna sell 5% of our inventory every week, which again is fairly conservative. You should be able to do six or seven, depending on how you price and the quality of the inventory that you find. So $1.50 buy cost, 100 books a week, $17.50 sell price. By the end of a year, if you commit to that and consistently send in 100 books a week, what's possible? So as of 2018, if the fees stay roughly the same way they are on Amazon, and every year they change a little bit, but at, toward the end of 18, if what you're looking at is if you hit those metrics, you're gonna be looking at sales in your first 12 months of $60,000 and a net profit of somewhere in the ballpark of $20,000. Year two, it gets a little bit better. You're gonna actually get sales of just under $90,000 and net profit in the ballpark of uh, 35,000, which is a little over $700 profit a week. So again, depending on your area, whether you're in a book rich area or you have access to a lot of garage sales and thrift stores, library sales, depending on how quickly you can get 100 books a week. Many of you can go out on a Saturday morning and hit that goal. Others of you, it'll take several weeknights to hit it. But if you can hit that goal, that's what is possible. You're looking, once you get your business built up, once it's, you've kind of reached equilibrium where you're sourcing roughly 100 a week and your inventory is large enough that you're selling close to 100, once you've reached that equilibrium point, you're looking at around $700 in profit every single week. And again, those numbers will vary a little bit depending on if you can find more books, if you can find more expensive books, if you can reprice them more efficiently and sell them quicker, but that's what's possible. So we invite you to come to go on over again, the100bookchallenge.com. There's a spreadsheet you can download and plug in your metrics. Let's say you can't commit to find 100, but maybe you can do 50 a week. What is possible? That spreadsheet will actually show you if you can reach these metrics and if, if what we think happens, will happen, then you can kind of expect these sales and these profits. Where else can you go? There's ways to build scout teams. And again, we'll have links in the resource section on, on all of this information. And head on over to the Book Flipper community Facebook group as well. It's a great way to get some questions answered, to talk to more experienced sellers, and start getting creative. Now that you know the basics, it's up to you to get creative. Where can you source? 
Where can you find books where there's less competition? If you go to a library sale, there's gonna be 15 to 20 other book scouts, sometimes 50 or 100, depending on the size of the sale. So where can you find books that aren't available to the general public? That's gonna be your competitive advantage. How can you hire people to list for you to sort of scale the business where you can focus on the fun part of finding books and you can provide a job for someone that you care about and help them make a few extra bucks as well, helping you get the books listed. So again, we'll talk about alternative sourcing methods. We'll talk about ways to scale the business. And again, online arbitrage where you can buy from Amazon and resell back on Amazon using the Prime program. We'll have some links to that as well. But again, congrats on making it through. You've now learned a new skill set and it sky's the limit from here. So take it as you will. We're excited you've decided to take this journey with us. And again, good luck as you continue to scale the business. And we're here should you have any questions. Thanks.